Um, so, spicy Italian sausage. We're gonna prepare a couple of dishes. We're gonna do a, a tasty vegetable medley and a uh, simple pepper and onion juicy burger. And then we'll, you'll get to see one of my favorite breakfast creations at the very end. For the vegetable medley, we'll take that chunk and we'll cut it into cubes. So that way, once again, they're actual bite-sized pieces. Uh, we'll start with our medley with some onion and pepper. And we'll let those sweat a little bit, showing a little bit of color. We are going to add our seitan into the medley with the potatoes. You never want to add your garlic in the very beginning because you'll just scorch it and then you'll end up being really, really frustrated with the burnt garlic flavor that you have in your dish. Um, I am going to add a pinch of coriander into our medley. Uh, it will really bring out the flavor. Our veg medley is almost there. We hit it with a half a can of whatever diced tomatoes that you have. And then I'm going to hit a little bit more water, about a quarter cup. We want it to be kind of saucy. Okay, that is all set. Now we're going to plate up our veg medley. And I have a nice big bed of greens. In here we have um, Mizuna bok choy, arugula, and some osaka, which is a spicy green that can be used in lieu of horseradish. So we got some heat going on. All right, you take this, and you just pile it on top. You really want to show off your greens, you want to show off your seitan, you want to show off everything. Because every meal should be treated with respect. And then we throw some fresh greens. Same greens on top as a nice garnish. We take that pecorino that we had, we throw that on top. And then we have our medley here, which this would be great as a lunch, a dinner, or even a breakfast. I mean, you know, fried potatoes, uh, the seitan, a nice big bed of greens, a little bit of cheese. You know, what's not to dig? Oh, that's good. Awesome, glad to hear it. For our burger, we want to have a nice slab cut. You know, make it, make it a good meal. So, for our burger mix, we have thrown in some peppers and onions also that we're going to saute. They're a julienne cut, just a long cut. It, it's, it's nothing uh, that is elaborate. Cook to your comfort zone is what I've always said. I'm just using olive oil if you want to use bacon fat, awesome. Duck fat, great. Goose fat, better. And our burger is flipped. We have some shaved pecorino here that we're going to throw on top. Just a little bit, a little bit of extra animal fat on there. Now that everything is really working together, I'm going to add some water to the deglaze a little bit. The seitan has a lot of flavor to it already, so I'm not adding very much salt, if any, to our preparation. I'm going to add a tablespoon of stone ground mustard to our peppers and onions. Hit it with some water again, and we're creating a little sauce here. For our burger, I have a bun in the oven. I'm not pregnant, it's just a bun in the oven. Um, and we want that to toast off a little bit because I found that whenever you make a juicy burger, you put it together and the bun gets really, really soggy and nasty and yucky and it's unfortunate. So we have our bun that I'm going to put down here. 
grow our, what I like to do with our romaine is I, as you can see, I left a, a leaf hole. I cut it in half, so that way you don't have to mess with the rib. A lot of times the rib will end up being really uh, cumbersome for you. Take our steak right there. Just mound it up. Make it sloppy. <laughs> I love sloppy burgers. You know, if you're not licking on your fingertips when you're done, you didn't do it right. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. That is mm -hmm. crazy mm -hmm. good. Crazy mm -hmm. good. Nailed it. That's a tasty burger. because it still has a lot of heat to it. A big, big thing to remember whenever you're cooking eggs is when you think you have them to the temperature you want and they look the way you want them to look, turn your heat off. It will maintain cooking. So we have that right there like so. Take this lovely gravy that I made up of just some peppers, onions, potato. I threw some of that seitan in here, added some water and let it cook. When it got to, uh, you know, it's reduced down some, I threw in some starch. Uh, we used uh, arrowroot. We could also use cornstarch, potato starch, you could make a classic roux. And there we have our three dishes made with the spicy Italian sausage. Okay, mama loaf. Egg mixture here. Because I Very nice. I'm Dylan Stockman. Have a great day. Enjoy your meal. You're rocking, honey.